In this video, we're going to talk about how to graph a linear equation. We can graph an equation by identifying the slope and y-intercept. We start at the y-intercept and use the slope. We can use the slope for changing to the next point. This will make sense as we move along. Remember, slope is rise over run. Rise over run is best used for when we're actually looking at a graph. Remember, if you're given two points, it's better to use the slope formula to find your slope. Let's try some examples. Example one asks us to graph y equals negative three-fourths x plus two. Remember from earlier on your page, we were told that we can always start at your y-intercept. Remember this represents b or the y-intercept. And the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. So we start right here. That's where this particular line crosses the y-axis. Now we need to find our slope. So we actually can create a line. This is m, or slope, and we can find how our line is situated on the xy axis by counting rise over run. Notice that this slope is negative, and so we're going to have something that travels downward as we head from left to right on the graph. We can pick our rise to be negative, and so we'll count our rise down three because it's negative. And then since we picked the rise to be negative, our run has to be positive to create a negative slope. And we count over four. So now we have found two points that we can now connect and create a line. If we connect those two dots, we now have a slope of a line. Notice that it is indeed a negative slope, and it does cross the y-axis at two. Let's work on example two. Notice that this is not in this form, slope-intercept form. So just as we did in a past video, we have to put this standard form equation of a line into slope-intercept form so it's very obvious what our slope and our y-intercept are. We're going to do that very quickly by solving for y. First, I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides, and I get negative 2y is equal to negative 3x plus 2. From there, I can divide by negative 2. And whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. And so now I get y is equal to positive 3 halves x minus 1. 
it's now in slope intercept form which is awesome because now we can just figure out where I need to plot my first point where the line crosses the y-axis in this case it's negative 1 because remember this represents B B is equal to negative 1 my slope M is equal to 3 halves or 3 over 2 so since this is going to be a positive slope I know that as I head from left to right my graph is of the line is going to head upwards so my rise is 3 and my run is 2 if I'm not quite sure exactly what my line is going to look well look like when I'm done I can always count up three again and over two again and make another point now I just connect my dots and ta-da I figured out what my line segment is like and that is the line that originally was in standard form and was very hard to see what was happening but if we just break it down into slope intercept form it's very easy to see how to graph it